Hey guys, so today's motivational message is about being bold. And this one's kind of three parts, so let me sort of explain and walk through. Um, as Christians, of course, we are called to be bold, which is always important. But um, a lot of times, we don't know exactly what that means. So there are times when I feel like God is telling us to do something, to say something, and that's part of being bold. So a lot of times when you get those feelings like, Yesterday when I made the video and it was really just like a couple of minutes and it was about, you know, putting off your worries. Like I just felt God needed me to say that, but I didn't really know why. And today I had someone come up to me and say, hey, I watched that video and I don't know if you did that for anybody else, but those were the exact words I needed to hear. And I think that's what a lot of the times, especially as Christians, we forget. We get so busy that we stop listening for that still small voice and I am, <laughs> so bad at it too but I that's one thing I'm working on personally is like taking the time to slow down and even when it's super uncomfortable to do it so you guys know that I work out a ton and I work out at a gym that is mainly guys like it's a kickboxing gym so it's a bunch of guys they're all younger than me for the most part and I don't know everybody well, but I've been there for a long time so I know a lot of people I know a lot of people sort of well and only a few people really well and one of, one day I was going in and um, I just really felt God telling me that I needed to go and ask this person if I could pray for them. Okay, it's a, it's a gym, it's a kickboxing gym that's just not done very much, right? And so like the, the human in me is fighting it and I'm like, I don't really wanna do that, God. I don't know this person that well. Like, I don't know if this person's a Christian. I don't know if they're gonna find that weird. But I decided to just listen and follow and you know, what's the worst that could happen? This guy thinks I'm weird, whatever. So I walked up to this dude and I said, hey, this is gonna sound really strange, but can I pray for you? Um, and he, not that he like broke down, but he was like, yes, like there's so much going on in my life. Like I would love prayers. Um, and that really surprised me because I was like, I don't know this guy very well at all, but I was like, okay, I need to sometimes just surrender and realize that God knows way more than I do and he's got a plan for that. So that is the first part of being bold is just listening for that still small voice. The second part that I'm gonna share actually was something that I learned from one of my students. So every Friday we have these devotionals and we sort of talk about something that's going on in that week. And last week we were talking about like love and how do you show love and all of that sort of thing. and. Um, it kind of delved into how the world's definition of love is not the same as God's definition of love. Like the world's definition of love is accept and, um, and support and affirm, right? And that is not really love. Like if I, as a mom, if I just affirmed everything my kids did, I'm not loving them because I'm not putting them to bed on time. I'm not giving them rules. I'm not giving them structure. And that's how God is with us. And that's what the student who is, I believe a freshman, so freshman in high school, some of these kids have it figured out and I'm so in awe. Um, but she said, I have to remind myself what God's definition of love is. And God's definition of love is to, to understand that we are all God's creatures and we don't have to agree on every single issue. We have to love them as God's creatures, right? So the second part of being bold is being bold in love. And that is really hard in today's world because of what I said earlier, that if you don't affirm certain things, like you're considered hateful. Um, and that is not the truth, right? The truth is if you are doing, if you are showing love the way God wants us to show love, we can absolutely love the person and say, hey, I can't support this aspect or hey, I can't agree with you on this thing. That does not make us intolerant, hateful people, even though I know that's what they like to call us, right? What that does mean is that we're standing for the truth that God asks us to stand for. And that leads to the third part of being bold. And that is the hardest part. And that is with all the crazy that's going on in the world, um, I know there are a lot of people myself included sometimes, because as an author, you know, I don't always want to get in political divides because I don't know where my readers fall. I want to write good books. I want to bring people in that way. Um, but there are times when we are called to be bold, to stand for what is true and what is right. And I've been listening to a lot of podcasts on both sides, which is sort of interesting. Um, but, but one of the things that if you listen to rational people, and I listened to somebody this morning um, who had a really great podcast, but it was about why they switched from one extreme to more of the center. And what they were saying was, 
when they were on this one extreme, like they, they stopped listening for evidence. They stopped looking to find things that they had in common. And instead they were forced to just support the talking point or the party line or whatever. And if they didn't do that, they couldn't be a part of it. And that is how we've gotten so far away. In my debate class, I'm teaching the kids to look for evidence. I'm like, you can have a feeling, that's great. But if you can't support your feeling, if you can't give me evidence to show that this is a problem, to show that this solution will work for it, to show that this is happening, it doesn't count. And we've gotten away from that. We've gotten to the point where we have some people who are showing evidence and some people who don't want to believe in evidence because they don't want to believe that there's a truth. And I think that there is a conversation that we have to have again about being bold and standing up for this is wrong. Like there are things that I can totally say, I don't agree with this aspect, but I can support you and just not agree with this part. But there are things that are wrong and we absolutely have to stand bold for those things. And I have hope because I'm seeing more and more people step out and make those statements. Now, some of them are still way too strong in like attacking people. And I don't think that's the right stance either. But being bold against the things that we see that are wrong, that clearly go against God's will, um, I think, or what God says in the Bible. And I think one of the big things is like, what is happening in schools? What is happening to our kids? Like that, it should be a line in the sand for everybody across political parties. I mean, it's not yet, but it should be. And I'm, I'm pleased that it is becoming more. But I think that is another reason, another place where God has called us to be bold. Because remember that God says the children, and the children are everything. Like the children are the ones who we're supposed to like look at because of their childlike faith, because of how much that they will trust God, um, because of, you know, like all the things that they see about God and the beauty of this world that we forget as we get older because we get so busy and we get so into what's going on in our life. And so the children, the children have to be protected. The children have to keep their innocence. The children have to be able to be kids and go back to that life. And I think that is a spot that almost all of us can agree on um, to be bold and to protect the kids. Okay, I don't know who needed to hear that today. I don't know if anybody needs to hear that today. Um, but again, I felt like God needed me to say that to somebody. So hopefully that is somebody's message that needed to be said today. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think, if there's something that you would like me to talk about, to look into, whatever like that. And uh, on Wednesday, I think we're gonna do something about writing. So I'm gonna work on something to have something about writing for you. Um, for those of you who maybe wanna know how I write the way I write or how to write certain things, um, then you'll wanna tune in for that tomorrow. So catch you on the flip side. Bye guys.